Okay, switching subjects for, or switching sides for just a moment. Uh, we've got Chris Bennett, blockchain beard guy right here. And so I know you're asking yourself, why do you have these terms up here? ICO, STO, IEO. So this stands for initial coin offering. This stands for STO, securitized token offering. And this stands for initial exchange offering. So these are all things from the blockchain space. I'm just gonna write this down because blockchain works like hot sauce. No, it doesn't. You just can't put that shit on everything. But this is why this is super important. If you wanna learn about blockchain, follow Chris Bennett, Bennett hashtag blockchain beard guy. He'll teach you all about blockchain. And so what we saw in 2017 and 2018, a lot of startups and entrepreneurs, they're like, hey, we were, we're, initi we're issuing these coins, these tokens, because they were raising money they were doing crowdfunding. Uh, they were raising money for their blockchain projects, for their blockchain quote unquote businesses. And so what that whole episode, ICOs unregulated. Let's just write that down. Right? ICOs were unregulated crowdfunding. So in, 26, in 2017 and 2018, uh, they raised approximately $26.8 billion globally through unregulated crowdfunding. So it showed crowdfunding worked, but when you have an unregulated market, there's a lot of bullshit to deal with. So uh, 2017, 2018, the ICO market, 98% of those are going to fail. Um, they're right around the 80% mark. And so even though those products failed, they showed that crowdfunding as a thing works. So when we talk about STO, it's as simple. These are regulated. These are regulated crowdfunding. Uh, these are regulated crowdfunding. That example that we just mentioned, uh, the Don Dixon's uh, pop, uh, popcom.shop, they issued, using Reg CF, they raised a million dollars. They also issued a token along with their equity offering in their business. I believe their investors got B shares. You can check out uh, all their information. They raised funds on Start Engine. I'll drop the link down below. So an STO is a regulated form of crowdfunding. You can offer equity, you can offer debt, you can actually also offer tokens. So this is super important. IEOs, initial exchange offerings, IEOs are just unregulated um, crowdfunding platforms. So if Start Engine was in the blockchain space, was an exchange, it would be, it could do IEOs, initial exchange offerings. So in this instance, again, it reinforces crowdfunding as a concept. Crowdfunding as a method for raising capital works. Um, you just need to be aware of, am I dealing with a regulated exchange? Uh, is the exchange actually going to um, go through this process in a compliant manner? So we wanted to bring this in because all of these people saying I'm running a blockchain business. Woohoo. Yeah, that's great. That's exciting. We're, in, we're issuing tokens and coins. Their actual problem they're addressing is, they're startups and entrepreneurs who need funding. How do they get this funding? They do it through crowdfunding. That's how they get that funding. So when you hear I'm a blockchain business, think, okay, what's your business? What are you doing? Put on your shark hat. You know, you're a shark, you're a potential investor. Are you on a FINRA approved, or this is for the United States, are you on a regulatory approved platform, our body, and how are you issuing this uh, offering? So in the crowdfunding world, we're focused particularly here on where we at Reg CF. And in Reg CF, you can raise up to a million seventy thousand dollars. But there's also something called Reg A, Reg A plus, Reg D, and Reg S. And I'll make some videos for those. So in Reg A, you can raise up to fifty million dollars. In Reg D, it's unlimited, but it's also limited to so uh, sophisticated or institutional investors. And Reg S is for international participants. So in our masterclass, we cover all of this. I just wanted to give you a brief overview and a refresher for everyone who's like, hey, I'm looking for startup funding. I'm looking for startup capital. I can't get a bank loan. I don't want to go the VC route. I don't want to have a billion dollar company. I want to have a lifestyle company where I'm only looking for up to a million dollars or maybe five or six million dollars. And you can go the Reg A plus or the Reg A or the Reg A plus route. So. We're going to talk about those in some future videos. I just wanted to get this off my mind because I spoke to Khalid and Muhammad. So shout outs to Khalid and Muhammad for asking me these questions.
to remind me to reintroduce everyone to equity crowdfunding. I reintroduce everyone to crowdfunding. For more information, uh, you can Google the Jobs Act. Crowd, uh, Jobs Act. Uh, I will actually put the link down below so you don't even have to Google it. I encourage you all to join the CFPA.org, the Crowdfunding Professionals Association. They're the guys and gals who wrote the crowdfunding laws, the Jobs Act crowdfunding laws uh, that are pertain to the U.S. So that's it for the moment. I'm Samson Williams. Thank you for following and letting me rant. Hopefully you can read my whiteboard well enough. If you have any questions or comments, drop it down below. And I look forward to seeing you guys at our masterclass in New York on June 1st. Peace.